Alrighty, welcome back to the most exciting Call of Duty game ever, Modern Warfare 2 2022. There's been all kinds of new stuff coming out about Modern Warfare 2 and Warzone 2, especially the Resurgence map. At least at the time of recording this video, so far we've gotten like a little teaser trailer video for the new map. I think it's called Ashika Island. We kind of got like a little sneak peek at the Resurgence map as well as some screenshots as well. But to be perfectly honest, I don't really want to talk about that too much. I want to talk more about actual Modern Warfare 2 multiplayer and what's going on with it because right now we're playing Shoot the Ship, which we all know is an inferior playlist. I 100% agree with Jev that we need to have two separate 24-7 playlists. We need to have Shipments 24-7 and Shoot House 24-7, both as active playlists in this game. And if I had to pick between the two, like if I was only given one option, I would pick Shipment 24-7 every single time. The reason being is because Shipment 24-7 has way more utility in this game than Shoot House could ever hope to have. To be perfectly honest, Shoot House is not even the best map for going for long shots in this game. When I was going for Platinum Camo in this game, I had the most success playing Tarak. But at the same time, I don't think anyone wants to see a Tarak 24-7 playlist. You know what I mean? Like, sure, you have to go for long shots in this game, but it doesn't feel like it's nearly as important as it was in Modern Warfare 2019. Like, if you really want to maximize your long shots in this game, like I've said before, just play Tier 1. Most of the maps you'll play will be good for long shots. Shoot House is not that great. Tier 1 as an entire playlist has become the safe haven for people to go for Platinum Camo in this game, which is where you'll find most people going for long shots, which ultimately makes it easier to go for long shots yourself. Even though it doesn't really make sense to do so, people play Shoot House for grinding kills and doing other kinds of camo challenges, but overall, Shipment is still the best place to do it. But I'm getting a little off topic. I wanted to talk about some of the brand new content coming to Season 2 for multiplayer on Modern Warfare 2. From what we've seen so far, it is a guarantee that the dude from Modern Warfare 2019 is coming back. I think his name is Ronin. Yeah, so those season two key art leaks that we saw, yeah, that was real, which continues to just be kind of disappointing. I mean, I guess one piece of good news is that Castle is not really coming back as a multiplayer map. That is apparently just going to be a point of interest on the Resurgence map. So that is a big bullet dodge. But as far as it goes for other content coming to Modern Warfare 2, we still kind of have no clue. At least at the time of recording this video, we have no information on new maps, new game modes, new guns, nothing. It's really painful to see this because there's a lot more information about Warzone 2 and even DMZ, but for multiplayer, there's really not a lot. And we don't really know why we're not getting any information. I mean, maybe they're still trying to figure out exactly what they're going to give us. It really does feel like for multiplayer, at least, this is a very crucial, uh, oh my, at least as far as it goes for Modern Warfare 2 multiplayer, it feels like Season 2 is a very critical turning point for this game. We're essentially left in two different positions here. Are we going to be completely screwed or are we actually going to get some really good content that's going to keep us playing? And man, I just hate the uncertainty right now because we don't really know much of anything. As someone who really enjoys Modern Warfare 2's multiplayer, I'm just left with nothing. It's just really strange, man. Like, I can't tell you if I'm excited or not for this season because I don't even know what we're getting. Like, man, even back in the day when they used to sell us the actual map packs in Call of Duty, we would get way more information. Like, we knew exactly what was going to be coming. Oh, God. <laughs> We've got a survivor enjoyer in the lobby. I mean, there's this one guy going for long shots, I'm pretty sure, and he's using survivor. Dude, what a cheese ball. Who goes for long shots and uses survivor? Like, you're a horrible person, man. I kind of just want to sit here and ruin this guy's chances of getting long shots, but that does mean I'd be feeding him kills, too, so... I, I don't know how to feel about this, but there you go. I feel like I've got some really conflicting feelings about this game because one thing I will say is that Modern Warfare 2 at least had a very strong start, but after so much time has passed and certain things have not been fixed, I just don't feel super optimistic that they're going to fix certain things. A prime example of this is the Survivor perk. Camo challenges don't track if someone's using Survivor. There really hasn't been any kind of conversation from Infinity Ward about trying to fix this or do anything about it. It just doesn't really make sense. And if it hasn't been fixed or addressed at this point, I kind of feel like it's just never going to happen. But regardless about how any of us feel about this game, I will continue to play it and support it and give it a fair and honest try. A prime example of this too is I've been doing open lobbies with the Merc Music Discord, which again, you guys can sub on Twitch or join the Merc Music channel as a member. You'll get access to the Discord, which we use to coordinate these events and host them. Not too long ago, we did an insane 32-player open lobby, which was actually just kind of out of control and probably not a good idea. Especially because there's a lot of features in this game that really are not great for doing open lobbies, especially of that size. Once we get out of this lobby, I'll show you exactly what I mean. So if I back out here, let's go to private match and I'll show you guys kind of the process of how we do this. So I'm going to create a private match. I can pick whatever game mode, which by the way, I think it's pretty goofy that you have to change game codes anytime you want to change 
change the game mode in this game, but that's not necessarily an issue I want to address here. But let's go over some different things. The first thing I want to point out for Modern Warfare 2 at this current moment is that if you have over 24 players, it kind of breaks the lobby member screen. Like, as you can see here, if I click square, I can change teams or roles. But if you have over 24 players in a custom game, you lose the ability to change any of this, which makes it very difficult to host 32 player lobbies and do anything that involves non-respawn game modes like Search and Destroy, or if you want to do some customs like Simon Says or Mike Myers. It's just so weird that you can't change this. Like, it just disappears as a feature. On top of that as well, no matter how many players you have, there is no ability to kick people once they're in your session. So if someone makes it into the custom game that you don't want in there, as the host, you can't kick them. This is what you have to do. You have to leave the lobby and restart everything. And the reason why that is such a pain in the ass is because there's no ability to save custom game modes, save custom classes in order to save time. So if anything goes wrong with the lobby, the only thing you can do is just close it and try again. This is a massive waste of time, and I can't believe that this is not a quality of life change that we've gotten yet. There's no way to save custom loadouts that the entire lobby can use, which would be a huge time saver, especially if you're doing like private match competitive stuff, where choosing the weapons and also saving the weapon tuning would save a lot of time if you had the ability to do so. And if you're going into the game setup, there's also no way to save any of these parameters. Like, you have to change it every single time. And that's why it's really frustrating that you cannot save these settings. And yeah, I mean, as far as I can tell, I think the big reason why this is such a difficult thing and we don't have it just by default is because if I'm not mistaken, this game is running on a new engine. So I think they might've had to build everything from the ground up again, which is probably why we don't have a lot of these features just right off the bat. That's at least what I'm assuming here, because in some of the oldest Call of Duty games, I'm talking like Modern Warfare 3, Black Ops 1, you can go into these custom games and you can save custom classes for a certain game mode. And it just makes things so much easier. And while I would like to share some more information with you guys, I can't spill the beans quite yet like a new guy working at Chipotle. But what I can say is that as far as it goes for the custom game settings and like private match stuff, I was able to relay some of this information to people that might be able to get some of this stuff added or changed or fixed. I can't really say much more than that. You know, my lips are sealed, but I do want to let you guys know that I have been advocating for change and improvements for this game because this game had such a strong launch and I still do think it has a solid foundation. And I really do believe that with the right advice and the right kind of direction, this game can be even better. But what I really do think worries most of us, myself included, is that time is of the essence. They only have so much time to be able to make the right kinds of changes and improvements to keep people playing the game. It already unfortunately looks like Modern Warfare 2's multiplayer and Warzone 2 as a battle royale have kind of lost a lot of people. But you never know, man. I mean, if a season is good enough or if they bring the right kind of content into the game, it could bring a lot of people back. That's what I'm hoping for and that's what I really want to see with season two. But yeah, I think that's enough rambling for one video. So thank you guys very much for watching. I really do hope you guys enjoyed this little Modern Warfare 2 video. If you guys did enjoy this video and you want season two to be a fucking banger, make sure to drop a like. I'll see you guys later.